I want you to carefully look at these four different questions on the screen in front of you. Let's look at the first one. So in the first one, how many terms do you see? Well, that's a one term, right? Because there's, they're only separated with the times. Let's look at this example over here. Well, at the top there's one term, and at the bottom there's one term, and so we consider that whole thing just a one-term expression. Then if we look at this third one over here, well, that's also just going to be a one-term expression. And this fourth one is a one-term expression. So guess what? For the last couple of videos, we've only been looking at one-term expressions. But now we are moving on to something different. Have a look at the top. How many terms do you see there? Now there's two terms because of that plus. And so everything changes now. As soon as this happens in maths, you need to think about factorizing. Okay, if you can do that, then you're going to be absolutely fine with these kind of questions. And so let's see exactly how this is going to work. So we said that because there's more than one term, we're going to have to factorize. Okay, so if we look at the top, can you see anything that's common over there? Well, some people might struggle a little bit to see it. So what we've got at the top there is 2x plus 2 to the power of x plus 1. Now, what would this give you? If I asked you this over here, remember we won't multiply these two together. We won't make that a 4 because there's exponents involved. So if we stick to the basics, it says that we should add the exponents. And so you would get x plus 1. And so these two are equivalent to each other. So sometimes it's going to be useful to use this side, and sometimes it's going to be useful to use this side. In this technique, it's going to be useful to use this side over here. And so what we can do is we can switch it to 2 to the power of x and 2 to the power of 1. So now we've got term 1 and term 2. See anything that's common? Well, well done if you see the 2x and the 2x. So we take it out as a common factor like that. And then you open up a bracket, and in the first term, there's nothing left over, so you'll just say 1. And in the second term, all well, this part has been taken out, and so we're just left with 2. Then at the bottom, which is this part over here, we're going to split it up as well into 2 to the power of x and 2 to the power of 1. And now have a look. Is there anything that's the same at the top and the bottom? Well, yes, these are the same. And now we can cancel those out. And so all that we have left... And you might be confused why I'm cancelling that out when we haven't been doing that in the last couple of videos. Well, if you want to stick to the basics, then your bases are the same. So you minus the exponent, so it's x minus x, which is 2 to the power of 0, which is just 1. And so they cancel out. At the top, then, we're going to be left with 1 plus 2. And at the bottom, we're going to be left with 2. And so 1 plus 2 is 3. And at the bottom, we're left with 2. 